So, can you see a little bit, a little bit more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me know when I need to stop. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, perfect. So, if you were, I'm trying to see if we can look at from this from different lens. We're gonna say you're the recruiter right now, right? Mm-hmm. What would you uh, think about this resume? Wait, so this person is trying to get a GRC role? I believe that's what they said. Now, I don't know if they updated since they sent it to me a couple of months ago, but mm-hmm. this is what they sent me. Um, yeah. And I literally just changed the name and stuff earlier before we did the call. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, honestly, there's really not much to it. This is non-security related. There are no security certifications. That, I mean, you can scroll down. I mean, I see, okay, education, management, security, but... That's all that they have. Can you scroll down? Are there like any hands-on labs? Are there any projects? Um, anything that's even close to being security related? Okay, so has security plus. Um, scroll down, scroll up just a little bit. I'm trying to take a look at like transferable skills and things like that. No, like scroll up. So it looks like the intern role, um, business acquisitions, gather information for new projects. Create documentation. That's definitely good for a business analyst. Based. Know, which role was that? Oh, I see right there. The intern, at the bottom. So the internship, yeah, the internship is great for like a business analysis related kind of position because you are, um, I mean, you're researching information, you're gathering information, you're preparing documentation. Um, it's it's kind of liaison ish and it's communication based. But um, that was all the way down in 2013. Um, if you scroll up. Like, scroll all the way up. Like, back up top. Is that good enough for all the way up? Okay, I see you now. It looks like it was just lagging a little bit, but... um, Postal service, communication, customer service. Um, I would say that for the customer service reps, you can probably look at, like, customer... Success um, manager. mm -hmm, Customer success manager, like, positions. Um, But anything, like, a GRC role, I I wouldn't hire her. Or him for a GRC based job. I mean, there's just really nothing sufficient on a security based level besides um, having the security plus. I would expect to see like a project section that lists out maybe any security based projects that she's done. Um, the skill set should probably include the frameworks um, that need to be known within the GRC world of things. Um, and her actual customer service related job can definitely be converted to more of like an analyst kind of um, thing um, just because she has a lot of that lingo. But besides that, I would say business analysis is probably the most that I would call her in for, but nothing like governance, risk and compliance. That's my thought. Right. Yeah. So like the, well, you had those, I had, I saw some type of formatting issues as well. Like some mm-hmm. things were bigger than others. Some people yeah. are nitpicky on those. Mm-hmm. But uh, also, I mean, like font and stuff like that, that you know, that could be changed. Usually, yeah, like yeah. if I just make everything one singular font, but I'm like looking at more within the content. Um, because to be honest, let's be real, there are people to which have shitty resumes, but because they have the experience, correct, that still look past. So it's just formatting is cool but it can be formatted all she wants and she's still not going to get called back because her resume is like non-related to that so right and uh what i what i saw was that okay cool i saw identity access measure aws like i saw Mm -hmm. this stuff right here but based on what you do you we have no knowledge that you know how to use any of (laughs) it based on what's on here and you know also this is a weak objective Mm-hmm. It's a generic objective that you know, if you're trying to stick out, probably isn't going to help you stick out. You know, you should mm-hmm. make some a little bit more tailor made based on the type of skills you have and the role yeah. that you want to land. That may help you, but you you definitely need to add some projects to this. Mm-hmm. And I would say the objective, um, I would definitely like. Right now, it kind of seems very like near, like I'm trying to transition into a role that will like. You know, we're not about to be asking or like, you know, begging out here. Like I would just make it something like, you know, um, skilled professional or a skilled professional that is experienced within communication based 
um, roles, blase, blase, blah, like things like that. You got to really like state it like this right. is who I am and, and make that a little bit more aggressive. So, yeah. yeah. But I mean, that's pretty much on there. Is, um, a raw is not bad, but it's just not geared to what they want to do. Okay. Now, I mean, and honestly, this is kind of the issue that I see for a lot of people. It's like, though, okay, I've gotten a security plus. Okay, here's my resume. Convert it. Like, we can't convert your resume to anything um, because all you've got what was that certification. Like, I'm not getting that isn't sufficient enough to get a whole resume revamp. So, right. Now, I believe yeah. this was a young guy. I don't know if he's in school. I think he might be in school or something. Um, mm-hmm. But besides differences of how I like to look at things, and that's my bias, I did immediately see this project, which looked pretty cool and interesting. Mm-hmm. I think he wanted to do. I ain't gonna search, but I think he. I think what what is on his resume is more in line with what he wants to get into. Yeah, no, I mean, it definitely is. It's, it's very technical. I probably would separate experience and project, though. Me too. Um, it, it needs to be a completely different, like, section. Um, but collaborated. Um, I would say that, okay, so it ended. I was thinking, like, it was current or something like that. Oh, he was um, in government, too, so he should be good. When... Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of wondering if he has like a clearance or something like that. So I'd definitely be a plus, but I would just say that, I mean, the resume looks fine. I really like it just because um, the descriptions, the bullet points go into why it is that they did what they did. You know, it wasn't just like a created APIs and Python scripts, you know, right. you're, they're stating I created API and Python scripts for the purpose of automating this process. And that's what a lot of recruiters want to see. Like they really want to see like a story, like, situation because they want to know why it is that you did what you did like what was the benefit basically so like these are some good and uh, these are some good uh i don't know what class he took at george mason but uh these are some good labs he did um yeah there as well and uh he had his skills and stuff down here overall i felt this was pretty strong for a uh yeah i really think it's just a formatting thing um that's really it but Besides that, I mean, the person has a skill set, so really shouldn't have a major.